What do you do best in the bedroom? I probably give head best, honestly. Oh I probably give head best. Ten one to ten. Hey, hey, but that's she go both ways, so I speak from his. I do, I do, I go both ways. And how how big can you take in your mouth? You wanna see? Yeah. You how much I can take in my mouth? Yeah. I have to put this in my mouth. Oh, I'll put them in my mouth. Oh. She should. Go for it. How much can you take in your mouth? Are you already gagged? The more I see these public interviews, bro, I, 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 I wonder what they daddy think about this, man. Because I'm going to tell you one thing. If I see my daughter on one of these, these, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was Kung Fu. <laughs> Yo, I don't know who daddy that is, but somebody daddy is beating the hell out of this motherfucker with that, with that bamboo stick. Where the fuck she came from? Oh! Bro. Jesus Christ. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Y'all be aware, if y'all come into Miami, do not give no guy, since y'all want to remove my sound, don't give no guy y'all phone to put their number in because this guy just cast up himself a thousand dollars for my sister money and I'm about to paste Instagram on her so y'all can blow it up. Yeah, so that's him with that baby chain, since I can't cuss. That baby chain took when on my sister's phone, act like he was putting his number in and sends up a whole thousand dollars. So I'm putting his Instagram. Y'all blow his shit up and tell him, y'all blow his stuff up and tell him to send my sister her money back. Yeah, so that's his Instagram. His bum self, since I can't cuss. His, his bum self, that's his Instagram. And tell him to send my sister her Instagram is right there. Say send bring money. Say that. So now we're getting ready to crash their party and tell them to send the money back because we know that. How you let somebody cash app themselves on your phone? Anytime I give somebody my phone to put their number in or do whatever, I'm looking. I'm right there next to them. Like, you're not grabbing my phone and ducking off to put your... There's no, no need for that. So really, she walked into that. And what I'll say, bro, I know that hurt. I've accidentally sent somebody like $600 worth of Bitcoin. I trade Forex. I was trying to refill my forex account and i sent somebody six hundred dollars worth of bitcoin and i knew it was over because bitcoin is out there once it's gone it's gone you feel what i'm saying unless you sent it to the right address but all it takes is one number to be off and it's gone so yeah i was hurt about that but uh, you man you gotta take that l man you gotta take that l you feel what i'm saying city boy is up man city boy is up a thousand dollars man <laughs> An actor, Jonathan Majors, is arrested in New York City, accused of assault. Police say Majors, the star of Creed Three and other famous films, was involved in a domestic dispute with a woman. Officers were called to an apartment this morning in Chelsea. Police say the woman had injuries to her neck and head and was taken to the hospital. Majors is out of custody tonight, facing charges of strangulation, assault and harassment. His spokesperson told us, quote, he has done nothing wrong and we look forward to clearing his his name and clearing this up. Damn. Mm. And just like that, man, one of my favorite actors may have ruined his career. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all something, right? If you make it this far in the video, I want you to learn from what I'm about to say. You have to know where you're trying to go in life. You have to know what you're trying to do for your family. You have to know what you're trying to accomplish for yourself. Because you are only going to be on this earth for a short period of time, and then that's it. The only thing that's going to live on is the memories and the things that you create for other people to see, to talk about. Throughout your life, there are going to be people that are either going to want that, that book that you're writing. They're either going to want it to end, 
or they're gonna want to be a part of it. They're gonna try in any way, shape, or form to be a part of it. Whether it be hating, whether it be coming with positive energy, they're gonna they want to be a part of it. In this particular situation, if he did put hands on this woman, I feel as though he should have known better. He should have looked in that situation and said, what do I stem to lose? Do not allow people to force their way into your book. Do not allow people to force your hand. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know the truth. You know, I have a wife that's from New York. I've dealt with New York women all my life. And I will say this, New York women have a way of getting under your skin. And if you are not strong-minded or strong-willed enough you will do something that you will regret. This is a fact. Not all men can deal with women from New York. Now, putting hands on women is wrong. You should never do it. And I pray to God that she's lying. If she's not lying, my boy needs some help. But do not allow people to force their way into the book of your life.